What's going on guys, Manax here. Welcome back to the channel. Woke up this morning, played a match of Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide just to realize that there was a new hotfix, which increased the performance, felt a lot smoother in my opinion, as well as fixing the toughness bleed for the veteran and anyone else who had more than 100 toughness. Let's jump right into the patch notes. Hotfix 1.0.13 dropped today, which fixed numerous crashes as well as just fixes and tweaks overall to the game. First up, we have the crashes. Now, there's a long list of crashes here. Basically, there were three different crashes when it came to being in and out of the meat grinder, and then as well as some of the psyker talents, as well as selecting during the character selection view, the headgear equipment view, and then some axes violation crashes. Now, again, probably not everything's going to be fixed, but more crashes are getting fixed, and I am personally feeling like I'm not crashing as much as I used to. As for localization, it has been improved, and they have uh, clarified melee push description to be more accurate and indicating this action will be used when you have no weapon equipped. As for cosmetics, there was like two cosmetics. It looks like they fixed basically some placeholder text, as well as the Psyker's Imperial Edition chest place, which would clip through the jacket, making it not look so good. Apparently, that has not been fixed. Now, to the bug fixes itself and the tweaks, they said they fixed an issue that caused toughness bleed through damage on toughness over 100. Toughness over 100 on any class should now function as expected. And I can confirm this. I played as a veteran today to check it out. And sure enough, it felt like the bleed through was no longer there. When I got hit at full 200, it definitely did not bleed through, which is great. Uh, they also fixed an issue when using a controller in the settings menu, added stat tracking for some platform achievements. And then this is one of the best things I've seen all overall is they increased experience in the Ordo docket select the gold coins when finishing a mission on Malice, Heresy, and Damnation. So. I don't know about you guys, but basically once you hit like what level 10, 15, you pretty much move off of the uprising grind difficulty and move on to like malice and stuff like that. And now I feel like it's going to be even better to just kind of grind malice from here on out to get to your guy to level 30 as well as getting some of those ordo dockets. So really nice there. And then this is the best thing. This is where the performance patch of the hotfix comes in here is regarding to ray tracing. And it says fix an issue where users would get ray tracing assigned as on by default. If the user's hardware does not support it, it improves performance for some users. Now, for me personally, I have a AMD Ryzen 3700X and a 3070Ti graphics card, and I was still having performance issues up the wazoo. Um, today definitely ran smoother, not necessarily phenomenal, but definitely better kind of like back from the pre-order beta type of performance. So at least we're headed in the right direction. But it says right here about this is we've seen a lot of comments about ray tracing being on by default and this was actually addressed on a, on a reddit post the other day um, basically saying that some of these settings were still on so what they did is they went through and changed some of them off by default and now performance overall seems to be better not great but definitely better let me know what you guys think if you guys want to read more and look into the patch notes i'll put the link in the description down below hope you guys enjoy more warhammer dark tide videos will be coming out, gameplay and patch notes, etc. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.